Americans. How are you doing? <laughs> Fantastic, I'm sure. Let's find out. <laughs> All right, current energy for Scorpio. The spiciest of all the water signs. I see you. Um, so let's find out. Where's your energy? This Mercury retrograde. <clears throat> so this says Smashana Kali. Um, life as you know it will change radically. This is this can be a welcome release. Kali is not quiet and subdued in the cremation grounds. She is wild and vital. Kali brings energy and aliveness to situations where there would otherwise otherwise be none. Um, she brings an end to stagnation that has been de depleting your life force, right? Very beautiful energy. I like that. We have the Chinamasta. Um, and as you see that you, you notice it's Shiva with his head cut off. Yes. Um, it's because Kali caught his, cut his head off during a bloodlust. It happens, okay? They had, she fixed it. She brought his ass back, okay? Um, but... In order to grow, the soul may need to separate itself from that which it once relied upon. Oppression will be overcome. Do not cling to what has been. Sometimes the best way to heal from the past is to cut it off completely and focus on inner regeneration and reorientation toward a more fulfilling future. You shall know true love and freedom. Dumavati um, certain endings are unavoidable. They are necessary precursors to radical reinvention. Any disappointment, defeat, or loss and the negative repercussions of such experiences will not limit your future happiness, but are opening up yet unrecognized pathways for fulfillment. Your trust must be unconditional at this time, and later you shall see that everything has worked out for the absolute best. <sighs> don't you love that when you're like going through like a tower moment or like a like drastic change in your life and and you're like everything is upside down and these cards are saying it's all for the best shit drives me nuts when <laughs> i'm not gonna lie like that drives me nuts because when i'm sitting there i'm like you know i mean i feel like you feel that too like you know like we need to hear more than all this is happening for the best, you know, and I feel like, um, it kind of required me going through my own situations to, like, kind of come to that, where it's like, we don't need to hear that, we know, like, ultimately, you know, things, you know, fix themselves or re restructure themselves, things are, things will be fine, we know that, but in the current moment, like, it feels like shit, right, like, let's just be freaking honest about that it feels like shit when you're going through transitions and changes and challenges and having to overcome shit and having to heal from shit and this constant soul work it's exhausting all right so like i commend you for all that you're doing because it is exhausting and a lot of people are not going to comment on that they're just going to keep telling you it's all for the best and better things are coming da, 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 da. and they are you already know that you already know that right now you just need to hear that like sometimes life feels like shit <laughs> you know sometimes it just feels like shit and sometimes that feels unfair even if you know that better outcomes are on the horizon sometimes that part feels unfair when you're putting in so much fucking work day in day out and you watch all these people around you you know like seemingly have all these better lives and you're just like why you know, so I fucking get that, um, I really do, it's, it's annoying, okay, and your efforts are not in vain, like, you know, your consistency, your constant work towards, you know, a better life is never in vain, um, I just think that you should be allowed to feel like 
shit sometimes or allow yourself the honesty of just being like, you know what, this is shitty and I don't deserve this from the universe. Okay? Because sometimes we need to be able to say that. Like, this is shitty and I don't fucking deserve this. You know? <clears throat> um, your life is a canvas, right? Artist, manifestation, and creative accountability, right? So, here's also another thing about the universe, right? When you're manifesting, the universe looks for the, the path of least resistance, right? And if every path has a lot of resistance... Guess what, chicken butt? It's going to pick the one with the least. But, um, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's, like, the easiest for you to get through. It's just the quickest way to get you from point A to manifestation, you know? Um, and that's why a lot of the times it feels like straight up fucking turmoil, right? Um, earth pulsing. Pulse of the mother. Slow down. Take time in nature. Yes. I agree with this. You should. Um, earth school. Life lessons, soul growth, study higher learning, right? So this is like really telling you to focus on expanding where you can. What is in your control? Um, your mind. Your mind is in your control. You can expand that shit constantly. You can always stay in a constant state of learning and adapting and and just, you know bettering yourself your mind your body your spirit whatever um you're not for everybody um embrace your weirdness and face your true north right um so i would say tap into your north node a little bit and maybe look at um look at readings that um are for that sign that your north node is like my north node is capricorn so periodically when i get that card i'm like all right i'll see what capricorn's up to and then i'm like oh shit it lines up um so you know i feel like right now you're really being called to your purpose <clears throat> and you know that's that's always it's always fun <laughs> right um like this spiritual work it's very important and it's good to stay optimistic but it's also good to stay realistic um that shit's gonna be challenging right and you you're not always gonna have like the most positive mindset on it right so here's a little trick to help you in manifesting if you can't be constantly you know farting rainbows um like the rest of us <laughs> um, <clears throat> but like it's not the most optimistic or positive energy that manifests your future. It's the most powerful energy, right? So, like, even if we're upset with one thing that's going on, if we redirect that energy into a more productive thing, but use the force of the emotion that came from something else, yeah, like use that to fuel us. Like, like those kids who got bullied in school, you know, for whatever and then they grow up and they're like oh I fixed the thing that I got bullied for and you know and it's like it's shitty but then like you come out feeling like more successful for having done that you know having gone through a full transformation like that um so yeah let's see energy for Scorpio Page of Cups, Six of Pentacles, and Ten of Pentacles. Alright, so the Page of Cups is like somebody coming in with like a love offer or like with admiration of some sort. Let's clarify that. Who is this Page of Cups? King of Swords in reverse. This is somebody that you don't want to cut off or somebody that doesn't want to cut you off. Okay, so Six of Pentacles. Um, 
This looks like the energy of somebody who feels like, like they want to be your hero, like they want to step in and rebalance your life or like be like a force of like just like trying to always give to you. But I see this person kind of giving to two people here, you know, so like let me see why. You know, this might be somebody who is like a healer of some sort, a Libra possibly, with the scales in his hand. Um, let's see. Okay, Seven of Cups in Reverse. Okay, cool. So that that's clarification that they're not like looking at other love options. They're not giving to multiple people. Okay, that's what I needed. Ace of Cups tells me this is somebody who loves themselves a lot. Somebody who um, holds you in high regard as well, you know. Um, Ten of Pentacles tells me that they see you as fulfillment, like, you know, um, I see kind of everything kind of coming together in this, let's see, yeah, with the tower in reverse, it's like, it all comes after something falls apart, like I said, there's this energy of something needing to be severed or ended, something needs to fall apart so that something can be built, um, that I feel like you've either already experienced this tower or it's happening, <laughs> you know, um, I don't feel like this is something that's going to, I don't feel like this tower is going to last super long because I feel like there's, there's too many positive cards on this. It's like, this is all just making room for something. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment, getting everything, um, and the lovers, ah. okay, um, yeah, so I see you coming into union pretty quickly, um, like, after this tower moment, um, It's kind of beautiful. There's a lot of, like, good things coming your way. A lot of good karma. Um, and I feel like it's because you've gone through so much. Especially with this tower moment. It's like, everything that, all these blessings headed your way. It's like, all earned. It's all deserved. You've gone through a lot to get there. Um, you put in the work. Work, 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 work. Alright, let's see. Um... Throw some oracles of bone here. Independence. Yeah, I see that you're being required to like really tap into your independence in order to get there. Um, that's pretty good though. I feel like you should not enter into any like connection unless you have like emotional independence where you know you could take care of yourself. You know you don't need them for survival. Like you're fine. You know. Um, you shouldn't enter into any kind of connection feeling like you need another person. Um, shit's dangerous. And it ain't fun. <laughs> uh, takes away from all the joy <laughs> when there's a sense of needing, you know? No? Okay. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, so we have walk with wings. Time for you to take flight, right? It's time for you to, um, you know, spreading your wings, flying, you know, with this independence card and piercing the mist, seeing a situation for what it is and being able to, um, you know, be fine in walking away from anything that doesn't serve. You got to make room for what is, you know, don't like respect the dead. Quit trying to wake it up. Quit trying to beat this dead horse, 
you know, um, this looks like you could have had, like, a karmic relationship that was very back and forth for a while, but I feel like this is kind of, like, it for you, like, you're kind of done with that back and forth, you're kind of done being drugs or the mud, you know, um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I've got for you, I hope this was helpful, namaste, I love you guys, catch you on the next one.